Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Blessing again. Have you missed me? Because I missed you too. I did. If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you click the subscribe button. The subscribe family yeah okay make sure you click the subscribe button and join the family you listen we're growing guys we're growing don't 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 miss out on the movement okay <laughs> anyway yeah welcome to episode two of let's learn yoruba your learn yoruba with me whatever whatever we are here to learn so we're gonna be serious we're gonna focus anyway so last lesson we learned about how you do general greetings and when you first see someone what you say and this lesson, we're going to be learning more about general conversation pieces, conversation starters. Like things you would say when you first see someone, how to ask people their name, how to ask people where they're from. Yes, yeah, so this, this, this is the episode where you get more juice, where you, where you get more questions and more things that you can tell people about yourself. Uh, if you haven't seen part one make sure you go over and you watch part one so the first question you want to know how to ask someone if you meet someone you know what you're gonna say to them what is your name okay and to say to ask that in your body just say kilo rukwe kilo rukwe I'm gonna break it down because it's a it's a it's a heavy one ki lo ru ko e ki means what lo ru ko is your name a eh, your so kilo rukoe means what is your name kilo rukoe so when you first meet someone you see that girl that you like you see that guy that's fine you're gonna be like oh eka rosa don't call him sir it's not your dad <laughs> sorry be like eka ro no he's not fair e blessed sorry karo kilo rukoe like you know what's your name and what you would reply is oruko me my name ni is blessing orukomini sandra orukomini orolua you just say orukomini orukomini so if you see oruko it just means name orukomi my name ni is insert name here simple I want to ask someone where are they from imbolotiwa Nibo, where? Lotiwa, did you come from? Ni, bo, lo, ti, wa, where did you come from? So that if you if you meet someone and you want to know what country they're from, you want to know what city they're from, you want to know what area you're from, where you from? Nibo, lotiwa, gone. Like, where are you from? To say, I'm from, you say, mo, wa, la, ti, I come from wherever in the world you come from child i don't know but you just say mo wa la ti in boloti wa where do you come from mo wa la ti i come from simple so to say please to meet you you say inu mi dun la ti mwe which directly translates to i'm glad to know you but that's how you say i'm pleased to meet you oh inu mi dun la ti mwe i'm happy to meet you you know so Shemole to re Shemole. That one's long, girl, but Shemole to re Can I see you some more? So Shemole. Can I to re See you again. re See you some more. And if the person is talking too fast and you don't understand because you're not native, Rorama Soro. Speak slowly, speak gently. I mean, I don't, I don't understand that. Rorama soro. Okay? But if you didn't hear what they said, if so, you don't want to say Rorama soro. You want to say, I didn't hear you at all. You will say, Nyo bo nkoto so. Mi o bo nkoto so. I didn't hear you. I can't hear you. You know what I mean? Like, repeat it. So to say, how do you say in Yoruba? So let's say you're not Yoruba. You say, Ba wo no she man so ni Yoruba. So, Ba wo, how do, no she man so, they say. So I'm going to break that down a bit more. Ba wo, how do, no she man so, no she man so. But what not she man so how do they say ni yoruba in yoruba so ni means in but what not she man so ni yoruba how do they say in yoruba 
if you want to ask how old someone is because if you're a guy you're going to make sure the girl's legal mm -hmm. if you're a girl you're going to make sure they're legal you don't want to be dating someone who's too young you say Omodumelonie is is it seems much i'm gonna break it down don't worry Omo means child Odum years melo how much nie are you so we're gonna put it together Omo Odum melo nie how old are you it sounds like we're we're using a, a hammer to crack a nut because we're using this long sentence just to say how old are you but it's because directly translated it means how many years of age are you do you get so it, it's actually longer when you translate it but it means how old are you we're gonna do it again okay so when you ask someone Omo odum melo nie, they will respond. Omo dume tanimi. Nobody's three years old, but um, I'm gonna break it down for you. Omo odum meta nimi. I am three years old. Eta is three. Nimi, I am. Omo du, same thing age your age number of years that you have if you want to say i am 10 years old we're gonna do numbers so just just hold tight but you would say however many years and to say where are you going nibo loan law nibo loan law nibo where loan law are you going nibo where long lo are you going simple and you to respond will say mon lo mon lo soja i'm going to the market mon lo soja mon lo i'm going mon lo i'm out okay i'm out yeah so that is the end of episode two and your test for this episode is i want you to translate this sentence in English. I'm gonna give you a Yoruba, Yoruba sentence and I want you to translate it in English. Rora ma soro, kilo rukwe. Rora ma soro, kilo rukwe. 25 points if you can translate that sentence as close as you can without cheating. Okay? So, anyway, guys, make sure you like the video share the video you know you already know what to do i don't need to tell you this again okay let me know if there's any way you want me to improve if there's anything you want me to teach you better for it and i'm going to see you guys in episode three bye